The office was eerily quiet, the kind of silence that only comes long after everyone else has gone home. Evelyn Matthews, the building's janitor, moved quietly, pushing her cleaning cart through the empty halls of the high-rise office building. It was a place that usually hummed with the constant buzz of people, phone calls, meetings, and the clinking of keyboards, but tonight it felt strangely still. The neon lights outside flickered through the windows, casting an almost ghostly glow on the polished marble floors. As Evelyn made her way toward the executive floor, the familiar click of her shoes echoed in the silence. She was used to working these late shifts, cleaning up after others had gone home. She never really paid attention to what she was cleaning. But tonight, something felt different. She reached the executive suite, where the office of Graham Williams, the CEO of Ward Enterprises, was located. It was a place she usually avoided. The executives worked in their pristine offices, far removed from the likes of her. She had heard whispers, rumors about the shady dealings that sometimes took place behind the closed doors of this high-powered company, but it wasn't her place to know the details. She was just the cleaner. Or so she thought. As she walked past Graham's office, something caught her eye. The door was slightly ajar, and the glow from the desk lamp leaked into the hallway. Something about it felt off. She hesitated, her pulse quickening. It wasn't her job to snoop, but she couldn't help herself. She had seen something. Just a small part of a conversation between Graham and another executive that seemed a little too heated. Now, as she stood there in front of the office, she felt an undeniable urge to take a look. Her heart thudded in her chest as she pushed the door open just a fraction more. The office was in disarray, as though something had been hastily rummaged through. Paperwork was scattered across the desk. Some pages were highlighted, others marked with bold red annotations. But it wasn't just any paperwork. Evelyn's stomach dropped when she saw the offshore accounts. The suspicious transfers. The enormous sums of money flowing in and out of shell companies with no clear reason. This wasn't just typical corporate paperwork. This was something much darker. Her hands shook as she slowly retreated from the office, feeling the weight of what she had just uncovered pressing on her chest. She wasn't trained to recognize financial malfeasance, but even she could see something was terribly wrong. This wasn't just a mistake or an error in judgment. This was intentional. The next morning, Evelyn woke to the shrill chime of her doorbell. She jolted upright, her heart hammering in her chest. The early morning light filtered through the thin curtains, casting long shadows across the room. She rarely had visitors. No one came this early. The only people she spoke to were her neighbors, and even then, only in passing. The idea of someone being at her door this early was unsettling. She instinctively reached for her phone, but it wasn't ringing. No message. No call. Her hands trembled as she moved cautiously toward the door. As she peered through the peephole, her breath caught in her throat. A plain brown cardboard box sat on the welcome mat. No label. No identifying marks. Her instincts screamed for her to ignore it, to pretend she had never seen it. But then the memory of the documents flooded back into her mind. The offshore accounts, the shady transfers, and she knew she couldn't just walk away. With a deep breath, she opened the door and bent down to pick up the box. It was heavier than she expected. She hesitated for a moment, glancing up and down the hallway, but there was no sign of anyone. She couldn't explain why, but a strange sense of foreboding crept up her spine. Inside the box, wrapped in a blood-stained rag, was a thick piece of glass, and on top of it, a small white card with a message in bold black letters. Keep your mouth shut or this will be you. The floor beneath her seemed to tilt. Her vision swam as panic surged through her veins. She staggered back, knocking over a chair, and barely caught herself. She felt as though her body was on the edge of a cliff. They knew. Whoever they were, they knew. They knew she had seen the documents. They knew she had warned Thomas. And now, she was in danger. Real danger. Her first instinct was to call the police. But then she hesitated. What good would it do? Whoever these people were, they were powerful, connected. They wouldn't be stopped by local authorities. They could find her. And worse, if she brought the cops into this, it might only escalate things. She couldn't risk it. Evelyn swallowed hard, trying to steady her breath. Her mind raced. There was only one person who might be able to help her now. Thomas Cole. He had given her his card last night after their brief conversation. She wasn't sure why she had trusted him, but she had no other choice. He had to know what was going on. Her hands shaking, she dialed his number. The phone rang twice before a sharp voice answered. Thomas Cole speaking. Mr. Cole, she whispered, forcing her voice to stay calm. It's Evelyn. We need to talk. There was a pause, then she heard a sharp intake of breath. 
Evelyn, what happened? They know, she muttered clutching the phone tightly. I got a package this morning, a warning. Stay where you are. Thomas ordered, his voice hard. I'll be there in ten minutes. Don't open the door for anyone else. Do you understand? Yes, she whispered, fear running through her veins. The line went dead. Evelyn stood still, the phone trembling in her hands. Every instinct told her to run, to escape, but she couldn't. She couldn't leave. She couldn't go anywhere without risking being caught. Ten minutes later, there was a knock on her door. Her heart leapt in her chest. She rushed to open it, and there stood Thomas, his face hard with determination. He walked in without a word and immediately took in the sight of the box on the table. What the hell is this? he muttered, stepping forward and examining the contents. They know, Evelyn repeated, her voice small. Whoever they are, they know I saw the documents. They know I warned you. Thomas's jaw tightened as he stared at the blood-stained rag and the threatening message. His eyes locked on hers. What exactly did you find in Graham's office last night? Evelyn took a shaky breath and began recounting the details, how she had stumbled upon the offshore accounts, the suspicious transfers, the way the money was flowing between various entities. As she spoke, Thomas's face grew darker, his gaze narrowing dangerously. You didn't think to call the police? he demanded. I couldn't, she stammered. What if they're involved too? What if this goes higher than just Graham? I don't know who to trust. Thomas exhaled slowly, his expression softening. You did the right thing by coming to me, Evelyn. I believe you. But this is bigger than I thought. What do we do now? She asked, her voice shaking. You're not safe here, he said, his tone grim. Pack a bag. You're coming with me. Evelyn blinked in surprise. What? You want me to stay with you? Thomas nodded. My estate is secure. I have guards. You'll be safe there. But I need your help to figure out exactly what Graham is up to. Why would you help me? She whispered. You don't even know me. Thomas's gaze softened. Because you risked your life to warn me, he said quietly. And I can't let you get hurt now. With a shaky breath, Evelyn nodded. She wasn't safe here, and she had no choice but to trust him. As they made their way to his estate, Evelyn couldn't shake the feeling of unease that washed over her. Thomas was a man of power and influence, someone far above her in every way. The mansion that loomed ahead as they approached his estate felt like a different world, one she didn't belong to. As Evelyn followed Thomas into his mansion, she couldn't help but feel out of place. The opulence of the estate contrasted sharply with her own modest apartment. The high ceilings, expensive art lining the walls, and plush carpeting felt like a world apart from the life she'd known. But she knew she couldn't afford to think about her discomfort. She was in too deep now. Inside the mansion, they walked through a series of lavish rooms before reaching a discreet elevator hidden behind an ornate panel. The elevator descended into a sleek, high-tech control room, where several monitors displayed security footage and encrypted files. A mix of high-end computers and shelves filled with confidential documents lined the walls. This is my war room. Thomas said quietly, his voice steady but filled with a gravity Evelyn hadn't yet fully understood. This is where I've always kept my eye on potential threats, people who try to take what's mine. Now, it's our turn to use it against Graham. Evelyn could hardly believe the sight before her. A man like Thomas, wealthy, powerful, and surrounded by layers of security, was suddenly on her side. It wasn't just a partnership anymore, it was survival. Where do we start? she asked, trying to focus. We start with Graham's accounts, Thomas replied, his gaze unwavering. We need to understand exactly where the money is going and who is involved. We need to see what we're up against. They sat down in front of a large computer, sifting through the documents Evelyn had discovered in Graham's office. Every minute they spent was a step closer to uncovering the full scope of Graham's operation, but it wasn't enough. The deeper they went, the more it became clear, this wasn't just corporate sabotage, this was something far more dangerous. Evelyn felt a sense of unease settle over her as Thomas decoded a series of encrypted emails. It's all connected. Graham isn't just embezzling funds. There's a hidden project, Project Silver, that he's been working on for years. The resources he's stolen are funding something massive. Evelyn's heart raced. What could be so important? Thomas's expression darkened. I don't know yet. But it's something that's been covered up for a reason. The stakes were higher than ever they were no longer dealing with a simple embezzlement scheme. This was a full-scale conspiracy. And they needed to expose it before Graham, or whoever was pulling the strings, could stop them. After weeks of research, coded messages, 
and careful surveillance, Thomas and Evelyn found themselves at the edge of the storm. They had tracked down the final piece of evidence, an airstrip hidden away in the outskirts of the city. There, a plane carrying a shipment tied directly to Project Silver was waiting. We can't leave without it, Thomas whispered. His jaw clenched with determination. Under the cover of darkness, they made their way to the airstrip, carefully avoiding detection. But the closer they got, the more they realized how much danger they were in. Armed guards patrolled the perimeter, and the plan was anything but simple. With swift precision, Thomas and Evelyn executed their plan. A tense confrontation followed, leading to a high-speed chase as they secured the plane and the damning evidence it contained. Inside, they uncovered everything, financial records, illicit contracts, plans for human trafficking, and illegal arms deals. But the biggest shock of all came when they discovered the mastermind behind Project Silver. It wasn't Graham. It was Thomas's mentor, the man he had once trusted, Damon Reese. No. Thomas whispered in disbelief. It can't be. Damon? Maria's eyes widened in shock. The billionaire philanthropist? But why? Because he's not just a businessman, Thomas said softly, his expression darkening. He's a kingpin. He's been orchestrating everything from the shadows. The realization hit them like a punch to the gut. Damon Reese had groomed Thomas to be his successor, planning for him to take the fall if everything went wrong. And now, they were up against a man more powerful than they had ever imagined. This isn't over, Evelyn said, determination hardening her voice. Taking down Graham is just the beginning. Thomas nodded, his eyes fierce with resolve. We'll take him down too. But first, we need to find allies. We need to bring this entire operation down, no matter the cost. With the evidence in hand, they launched their offensive. They exposed Graham's crimes, watched as his network crumbled, and witnessed the power of truth unfolding. But Damon Reese was still out there, lurking in the shadows. Months later, Evelyn stood in the newly rebuilt offices of Ward Enterprises, the chaos behind them finally settling. The company had been through hell, but now it was stronger, more unified than ever. As the new CFO, Evelyn no longer felt like the timid cleaning lady she once was. She had earned her place in this world, through courage, blood, and determination. Standing beside her, Thomas looked at her with a proud smile. The man who had once been a mentor, a father figure, had betrayed him. But now, standing together, they had proven their strength. Are you ready? Thomas asked quietly. For what? Evelyn asked, raising an eyebrow, a small smile tugging at her lips. For the next chapter, Thomas replied, his eyes glinting with determination. She turned back to the city skyline, feeling an overwhelming sense of peace and resolve. The fight wasn't over, but they were ready for whatever came next. Dom and Reese was still out there, plotting, hiding, and waiting. But Evelyn didn't fear him anymore. She was ready. If you found Evelyn and Thomas's journey as thrilling and captivating as I did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more gripping stories that keep you on the edge of your seat. What would you do if you found yourself tangled in a web of lies, betrayal, and corruption? Comment below with your thoughts and share your ideas. Stay tuned for more twists and turns as we explore the worlds of mystery, danger, and redemption in our next adventure. Every decision, every action can change the course of someone's life forever. And remember, no secret stays buried forever. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey, and we can't wait to see you in our next story.